We are back here this morning to deal with some of the items that have been adjourned to today. But before dealing with that, I have a press statement here that I have to read for the purpose of the Commission of Inquiry. This press statement number seven of 2022, based on the currency of documents produced to the commission and tendered into evidence. The following persons of interest listed below are formally invited by the commission to immediately contact the secretary, Mr. Jack Nyatt, by email to secretary at motocare.com to attend as a witness to give further evidence on matters relating to this inquiry commencing at 10 a.m. on Thursday, the 31st of March 2022. And at such other dates and times as determined from time to time by the Commission. Number one, Honorable Don Pompolia. Number two, Honorable Peter O'Neill. Number three, Honorable Powers Pakop. Number four, Dr. Clement Wine. Number five, Dr. Peter Cora. Number six, Dr. Thomas Webster. Number seven, Mr. Arthur Somara. Number eight, Mr. Brian Riches. Number nine, Mr. Dari Vella. Number 10, Ms. Angeline Tauno. Number 11, Mr. Gary Hesse. Number 12, Ms. Hakua, Hakua Harry. Number 13, Mr. Isaac Lupari. And number 14, Mr. Jamie Stewart. Number 15, Ms. Julinia, Julinia Kubak, Juliana Kubak, sorry. And number 16, Mr. Justin McGain. Number 17, Mr. Larry Hoard. Number 18, Mr. Nathaniel Poyer. Number 19, Mr. Paul Comboy. Number 20, Mr. Paul Nero. Number 21, Mr. Romley Kilapet. Number 22, Mr. Stanley Alphonse. Number 23, Mr. Steve Tessa. And number 24, Mr. Wasantha Kumarasi. If there are any changes to the above or any further development in terms of Commission's calendar, we will advise the general public accordingly by way of further press statements. We wish to remind the public and interested persons or parties to consult the Commission's website, www.coymotocarewolf.com to keep yourself informed of the Commission's progress. Dated this 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. That is the press statement number seven for this morning. We have agenda items that we will deal with. Some of them the agent and some of them were agent to today. So, with that, I now turn to the Council, assisting the Commission to take us through. Thank you, Commissioner, and may it please this Commission. Commissioner, for the record, my name is Kipa Anishila, I'm appearing as Council Assistant. Um, Commissioner, I'd, I'd like to mention item number nine first. Item number nine on 
uh, today's uh, daily diary is uh, the return of summons number 13. Summons number 13, which was issued to the Minister for Finance, the Honourable Sir John Pundari, KBE CMG MP. Uh, Commissioner, as you will see, me, uh, Sir John Punari is in attendance this morning. So if I can uh, uh, kindly invite or call uh, Sir John to take the witness uh, stand. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Sir John, um, and uh, good morning. Uh, I'd <laughs> like to uh, thank you for your uh, attendance this morning, in spite of the fact that there's uh, Parliament sitting today, so we're quite grateful for your attendance. Um, um, Sir John, if I, if I may just ask you some, uh, some preliminary questions, um, could you... Could you uh, Sorry, before I do that, uh, if I could have uh, Sir John sworn in first. So, Associate, yes. Thank you, Mr. Associate. Now, Sir John, could you just, uh, for the record, state your full name and your occupation? Mr. Chairman, um, my name is Sir John Thomas Pandari, and I am a member of Parliament, uh, currently serving as the Minister for Finance, uh, as well as uh, the Minister responsible for the Department of Implementation and Rural Development. Uh, thank you, Sir John. Uh, if you could just uh, pull the uh, microphone towards you and speak into it clearly for for the uh, 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 re for the records purposes. Thank you. Thanks. Um, and uh, can you confirm that your attendance uh, this morning is in response to a summons number thirteen that was uh, issued to you? That's right. And uh, could you also confirm that uh, in response uh, to the summons, you have with you uh, or have before you uh, some uh, documentation to produce uh, to the Commission? Exactly right. Uh, if I could kindly ask you to quickly identify the, or just quickly make a mention or description of the documents that you have with you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Chairman, uh I have with me a letter dated to yourself, uh, the 14th of March, 2022. Yes. I uh, was informed uh, by your counsel that the uh, letter did not uh, reach the Commission of Inquiry, together with the documents attached to it to assist in the inquiries of the uh, Commission. Uh, of inquiry. And therefore, uh, Mr. Chairman, I will be uh, very happy if you uh, please uh, to go through the, the documents that I have and I may present them to the Commission of Inquiry. I open trust that these documents will assist in his inquiries surrounding the activities that, that um, pertained to the uh, sales and the uh, purchase of the uh, motor care wharf um, around the Department of Finance. Yes. Yes, if you will allow me, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I could go through these documents and have them presented. 
Yes, please. Thank you. The um, the uh, the Department of Finance and uh, the minister's um, uh, roles and responsibility then. Um, uh, into the uh, matters of the of the uh, motor care um, wharf uh, chairs and uh, patches is uh, is limited to uh, around three areas. Um, one is to do with the uh, Public Finance Management Act of 1995, uh, relating to uh, Section 61. Section 61, and uh, the relevant part of the uh, Public Finance Management Act, uh, Section 61, uh, is attached uh, to my letter to yourself, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman and Commissioner, um, uh, annexed as Annexer A. Um, I have to inform the uh, Commission of Enquiry that the uh, that the um, documents um, that necessitated the uh, Minister for Finance then uh, to write giving Section 61 approval uh, could not be located in the Department of Finance files as it uh, uh, relates to agreements uh, entered into in 2014. And uh, I am informed by the department that, uh, that uh, those documents may have been archived. And uh, uh, we are unable to, to find that document. However, to guide the uh, Commission of Enquiry and to assist this inquiry, uh, the Annex A basically uh, is an annex item uh, that helps uh, to inform the inquiry as to, as to the act uh, that alludes to Section 61. Uh, that gives powers to the Minister for Finance um, to give uh, certain approvals. Uh, however, uh, the department uh, is unable to locate um, that particular document. The other annexes of documents I have um, they are to do with letters of comfort um, uh, and this is to do with the extension of a BSP uh, loan of about uh, 800 million kina. Um, I have as um, an extra B uh, to the documents that are attached to my uh, cover letter is to do with a letter from the uh, managing director of uh, the KCH then, uh, Mr. Darren Young, uh, MBE, who wrote to the Minister of Finance uh, who was then our current uh, Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, the Honorable James Marabe, uh, requesting a letter of comfort uh, for a 12-month extension uh, of the BSP uh, 800 million kin alone. An XSC is, uh, is a facility agreement 
a uh, letter from KCH uh, to the Bank of South Pacific. And of course, we have an extra D uh, that relates to uh, an NEC decision uh, dated um, the 14th of June 2018. NEC decision number 171. that basically authorized uh, the extension of the BSP loan and directed the Minister of Finance then to sign uh, the letter of comfort. I have also um, an annex A E. Uh, that is basically a brief from uh, the FAS or the First Assistant Secretary to the Secretary for Finance then. And then uh, the Secretary for Finance uh, uh, from that brief provided another brief to the Minister for Finance. Annex RF is uh, following those briefs to the Minister of Finance. It's a response letter from the Minister of Finance to the then Managing Director of KCH. And Annex G, a comfort letter from the Minister of Finance to the Bank of South Pacific. An extra age, as I said earlier, is a letter from the uh, uh, KCH. Uh, to the then uh, uh, Minister for Finance. Um, uh, basically, uh, Mr. Chairman, if you uh, follow through uh, uh, my cover letter and the attachments, uh, I'm sure that the uh, Commission of Inquiry will be uh, very well informed of the activities that surrounded uh, the Department of Finance then as to the sales and purchase of the Motor Care Wharf. Um, the uh, The, uh, the third action uh, surrounding uh, uh, the same has to do with uh, interest repayments um, on the BSP loan of 800 million kina. And an XRI is basically the deed of, of guarantee and indemnity of KCH. or the uh, IPBC then, and it's borrowing. An extra J is, uh, is a brief on the total interest paid uh, to the loan. And the uh, interest repayments are started around 2018, and to date, uh, uh, we paid about 106 million, uh, 283,871 kina and uh, 91 toya. Mr. Chairman, uh, at this stage, um, these are the only documents that uh, my department is able to find to assist the uh, inquiry. Um, you will find in my cover letter to, to you uh, that we, we, we do miss one or two uh, documents that we aren't able to locate in the department. And I said uh, 
Uh, it all started back in uh, 2014. Uh, but my department uh, uh, was able to, in its best endeavors, uh, was able to put uh, these uh, documents together to to assist uh, the uh, the inquiry. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, at this juncture, I just uh, would want to humbly um, uh, request if um, the inquiry going forward um, uh, consider um, uh, the Secretary of the Department of Finance and some of our senior officers to 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 come assist uh, the inquiry. Um, and should the uh, Commission of uh, Inquiry, uh, after perusing through these documents, find that uh, you need further clarifications or further information, then uh, may I suggest, uh, Mr. Chairman, that that you write to my secretary to 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 provide you those additional information or the clarifications that that you may need uh, before they are summoned to to appear and uh, maybe further answer questions. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Sir John. Uh, first of all, thank you for the um, thorough description of the documents that you've, uh, you have uh, with you. Uh, we will uh, take possession of those documents and obviously we'll need to uh, review and uh, review the material. And um, uh, as regards your, um, your request uh, to consider uh, issuing summons to the uh, departmental head and the deputies, uh, we will uh, take that into consideration and advise uh, accordingly in due course. Uh, in the meantime, uh, what we propose to do is to have your summons uh, extended uh, to the 29th of March 2022, by which time we should be in a better position to um, uh, revert to you in response uh, to the queries that you have raised here. So in the circumstances, Commissioner, uh, if I could uh, ask for a direction for Sir John Pundari's uh, summons, that is summons number 13, to be extended uh, to the 29th of March 2022 at 10 a.m. <coughs> Thank uh, you. Thank you, Consul. Uh, Honorable Minister, I'm aware of the circumstances that surround the information that this Commission of Inquiry urgently needed. At the same time, I'm also of the view that the conduct of those people who are supposed to guide the Commission of Inquiry must also be done in a very genuine way, that it reflects the image of this Commission of Inquiry and for the people of this country, because they are observing what's happening. And I'm aware that you ask that a letter must be written to the secretary, thus to allow him time before a summon is given to him. I'm satisfied with that, given the circumstances, and also as highlighted by our council. And thank you, Minister, for that reason. 
someone's uh, number 13, uh, dated 27th of January 2022, is now further extended to 29th of March 2022, uh, for further mention at about 10 a.m., dated this 24th day of March 2022, and authorized by this commission. Uh, I'm sure that the limitation of time is adequate and also can provide the kind of information that we also need to assist this commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. If uh, Sir John could be excused for, from the uh, witness doc, thank you. And uh, Associate, please take possession of the documents by... Uh, Sir John. Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, before I exit, uh, please be rest assured that um, uh, we're here to ensuring that we provide facts, we provide figures, we provide documentations uh, sincerely from the perspective of my department to assisting and to ensuring that that this commission um, gets a satisfying outcome for the people of Papua New Guinea insofar as uh, public expenditures are concerned, uh, public monies that belong to the people of this nation. Uh, I just wanted you to have on record uh, that my department uh, will assist in any way that this uh, inquiry will uh, want of its, its support uh, going forward. And I want to uh, sincerely appreciate the fact that, that to better assist the uh, inquiry, that, that uh, you write to the department and you have accepted that. So it, it, it gives the, uh, the department the ample time to be able to, to, to give the inquiry the value and the support uh, that it needs. Uh, I really do appreciate um, uh, this inquiry and the reasons for it. And uh, may I also inform the inquiry that, that those were years that I was not the Minister for Finance, but that does not excuse me in any way. Um, I will take all responsibility to appear before you, Mr. Chairman, and before the people of Papua New Guinea to assist this inquiry in whatever way. Um, I only suggest that the, uh, the, uh, the approach for our technocrats in the organization to, to come forward and to uh, appear before uh, uh, this inquiry. Uh, knowing fully well that they're well versed with uh, the information because it is the bureaucrats that, that guide politicians, uh, etc., and they are well informed of, of uh, for instance, the uh, Public Finance Management Act, and all that is uh, required in progressing uh, uh, such uh, amounts of of, of monies that, that, that relate to, in this case, the purchase of the uh, Motor Care Wharf. So, so thank you so much for your understanding. I um, will excuse myself. Uh, I need to attend to the parliament meetings. And I thank the, uh, the Landed Council and, and, and this Commission of Inquiry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Thank you for coming this morning. I really appreciate that. You can now be excused from the past term. Thank you.
Thank you, Commissioner. The next item I'd like to mention is item number five on the list, which is the return of summons number six. Summons number six was uh, issued to the uh, National Executive Council Secretary, Ms. Grace Soon. Yes. Commissioner, Ms. Soon has complied with uh, the uh, with the summons and uh, she's produced documents and had, had them tendered. Uh, the reason uh, this uh, summons has been, um, been adjourned or extended for a number of times is that uh, there were some policy submissions uh, that were uh, missing and uh, we wanted to uh, confirm their availability uh, in other documents that were produced uh, by KCHL. And uh, we've done the searches, and we are satisfied that those documents are unavailable. Um, in the circumstances, given that Ms. Sohn has complied with the summons, we will seek a direction for summons number six to be discharged forthwith. Thank you, Councillor. Uh in respond to the situation and uh, the commission uh, in light of that now directs that uh, summons number six dated 6 January 2022 is discharged dated is 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the commission thank you council thank you commissioner the next item is item number six, which is the return of summons number seven, which was uh, issued to the acting secretary, Mr. Andrew Oake from the Department of Treasury. Yes. Mr. Oake's uh, lawyers are in attendance, so I'll allow them to enter their appearances. Thank you. Good morning, Commissioner, for the record. Good morning. I'm Ms. Kewa. I'm acting for, sorry, I'm appearing for sec Acting Secretary, Department of Treasury. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. Uh, we will ask for an extension of this summons as well to the 29th of March 2022 at 10 a.m. for the reason that uh, um, some more some new documents have been again tendered, uh, uh, sorry, produced uh, to us this week, and uh, we will obviously need time to review that material. Uh, at the same time, uh, we are reviewing uh, the documents uh, that were produced to, to our, us uh, initially and uh, compiling an exhibit list with a view to having the, those documents uh, uh, tendered formally. So by, by the 29th, uh, we are of the view by of the view that by that date uh, we should be in a position to have those documents uh, formally tendered through Mr. Waike. Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you, Council. In response to that, uh, I'm satisfied with the uh, reasons that have come to attention. And therefore, uh, the summons uh, number is seven. Uh, dated 6 1 2022 is now further extended to 29 March 2022 at 10 a.m. for further mention. Dated is 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. I move on to item number seven, Commissioner, yep. uh, yes. which is the return of summons number eight. Summons eight was um, issued to the state solicitor, Mr. Daniel Ropagare. Yes, Council. Yes, um, Commissioner, as advised uh, previously, um, there were some documents which we identified as having some discrepancies 
and which we returned uh, to the uh, state solicitor to sort out. Now, this morning before the hearing, those documents were brought back. They've been properly sought out. And in addition to that, uh, some more documents were also produced, uh, which we've taken possession of. Uh, we will obviously need time to review the material and do an expert list uh, accordingly. So, yeah, in those circumstances, uh, I will ask for an extension to the 29th as well, 29th of March, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. I'm sorry, the 31st, 31st of March, uh, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Thank you, Council. I, I know that um, the Commissioner directs that uh, summons number 8, dated 27th, 1, 2022, is now further extended to 31st March 2022 at about 10 a.m. For, for further mention. Again, dated this 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner, I move on to item number eight on the list, um, which is... Uh, the return of summons number nine. Summons nine was uh, issued to the Attorney General, Dr. Eric Kwa. Yes. Commissioner, we advised uh, Dr. Kwa by way of an e email um, yesterday uh, of uh, the summons uh, returning this morning. So. Commissioner, given the late notice, uh, I ask that uh, Dr. Kwa's uh, uh, summons be extended to uh, to the 29th of March, 2022. Thank you, Consul. Uh, similarly, in response to that, uh, summons number nine, uh, dated 27th, 1, 2022, is now further extended to the 29th of March 2022 for further mention. Uh, again, dated is 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. I will skip to item number 13. Item 13 on yes. the list, which is the return of summons number 18. Summons number 18 was issued to uh, Mr. Ivan Pomelu, the Secretary of the Department of Prime Minister in NDC. Yes. Uh, we have received a communication from the Office of the, the Secretary uh, for, or from Mr. Pomelu advising them, advising that um, they do not have, or he doesn't have any uh, documents uh, uh, in relation to, uh, in relation to the summons that was issued to him. And uh, he also says that uh, he uh, wishes to uh, adopt those documents that were produced by uh, by Miss Grace, so on, uh, for purposes of compliance with uh, his summons. Commissioner, we would like to seek an extension uh, to the 29th of March, 2022, by which time we, sh we should be in a position to uh, advise the Commission uh, as to whether that is the uh, uh, correct version of uh, or, or state of play. Thank you, Consul. The Commission now directs that, in response to that, directs that summons number 18, dated 27th of 1, 2022, is now further extended to 29 March 2022 for further mention. Please, the Commission. Again, dated is 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. 
I move on to item number 16 on the list. Yes. Item 16 is an application by application for leave by the Arira Lower Body Community of Tatana Village. Council. Yes, and uh, Mr. John Guava from Sunny Lawyers acts for uh, the Arira Lower Border Community from Tatana. So I let him enter his appearance. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Chairman of the Commission of Inquiry, and thank you, Council Assistant. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I'd like to just briefly announce my appearance in CY. Uh, my name is John Sinaka Goava. I'm a private legal practitioner. I am representing or acting on behalf of the, uh, the uh, arrival Laura Lauraburi community, uh, acting to the chairman, Mr. No Gago Gaigo, sorry, Mr. No Momoru, and Mr. Nick, Alan Nick. Yes. Uh, Commissioner, we have, as an interested party, my clients have shown their interest and they've instructed me to uh, write to the Commission in compliance with the, uh, with the uh, provisions uh, under the uh, COI um, uh, application or provisions for leave, leave to appear, Mr. Uh, Chairman, and we've, un we've done that under cover of a letter dated 5th of March, 2022, which mm. is within our, the submissions uh, lodged or filed on behalf of the arrival group or community group. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you will note uh, the submission is dated 7th of March, 2022. Yes. And, uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may, just briefly, uh, my clients are the group that I represent a vested interest, not only as a community group, but uh, a group of landowners who have been affected, whose interests, customary rights and interests, have been affected by the purported sale of so therefore, on that basis, you are, uh, Mr. Chairman, we are humbled by this application as a matter of principles of natural justice uh, that this group or application or submissions would be had in the course of the Commission of Inquiry. So on that basis, uh, we seek leave to be uh, to take part or participate in this commission of inquiry. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, this uh, application uh, is noted and was mentioned. Sorry, was listed for mention uh, for a date to be fixed for hearing, Commissioner, and that's that was a. Uh, uh, communicated to my uh, uh, friend, uh, Mr. Guava, uh, who advised uh, in response that the available dates for him are any date after the 29th uh, of March uh, 2022. Uh, in those circumstances, uh, I would ask that this application be listed for hearing. Uh, on the 31st of March, 2022, since we have other matters that are returnable on that date as well. <clears throat> so if a direction could be given to the, to the effect. 
Thank you, Consul. I have looked at the, the circumstances surrounding the application, and uh, we, uh, the Commission, is, uh, will give direction into that effect. Uh, and therefore, uh, the leave application that is dated uh, 7th March 2022 is adjourned to the 31st. Is that right, Council? That's correct, yes. Uh, it's adjourned to the 31st of this month, March 2022, at about 10 a.m for a decision. That's for a hearing. Oh, for a hearing, sorry. Yes. My apology. For the hearing. Sorry, for the hearing. I can, again, date that is 24th of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm the respected Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if uh, Mr. Guava could be excused. Thank you, Ms. Guava, for your presence this morning. I'm impressed, and uh, for that reason, you can be excused from the bar table. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Those are all the matters that were allocated for me to deal with this morning. I will now hand over to Mr. Guerrero to deal with the balance of the matters. Thank you. Thank you, Council Guerrero. Uh, uh, Malava. Good morning, Commissioner. Morning. I could uh, mention item num number one. That's the return of summons number one issued to PNG Ports Corporation Limited. Yes. Commissioner, in that particular summons, there were further documentation produced to the Commission earlier this week. We are going through that material. In the circumstances, we submit that the summons number one be extended to the 29th of March 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention, by which time we intend to have an exhibit list finalized for formally tendering of the documents produced to date. Thank you, Council. Uh, in consideration to that, the Commission directs that summons number one dated 10 December 2021 issued to PNG Ports Corporation Limited is further extended to 29th of March 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated this 24th day of March 2022, and authorized by the Commission. As the Commission pleases. Item number two, Commissioner, is summons number two, issued to Kumul Consolidated Holdings. Yes. A similar situation there, Commissioner. We are finalizing a list of exhibits to formally tender the documents that were produced to the Commission, or further documents that were produced to the Commission. And we submit that the summons number two also be extended to the 29th of March, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention, by which time we will be in a position to formally tender the balance of the documents produced by KCH. I'm satisfied with that, Council, and therefore the Commission directs that summons number two, dated 10 December 2021, issued to Kumul Consolidated Holdings, is further extended to 29 March 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated is 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you. The Commission pleases. Item number three is return of summons number three, Commissioner. It's issued yes. to Curtin Brothers Holdings in brackets NG Limited. Yes. Commissioner, as you will recall, a number of uh, documents were produced by, by Curtin Brothers in response to the summons. We are still going through the material. Um, that was produced. We should be in a position to f uh, finalize an exhibit list for tendering of those documents also on the 29th of March 2022 at, at 10 a.m. See if a direction could be issued uh, in those terms. 
Thank you, Council. The Commission now directs that summons number three, dated 10 December 2021, issued to Cat and Brothers Holding NG LTD, is further extended to 29 March 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated is 29th day of March 2022, authorized by the Commission. Thank you. Commission, please. Item number four. The summons number four issued to Ballymore number 39 Limited. Commission, a similar situation to uh, Curtin Brothers. The doc documents were produced um, through the lawyers, Ashurst lawyers. Uh, we would, should be in a position to finalize the exhibit list with a view to tendering the documents on the 29th of March 2022. And as such, we seek a direction that the summons number four uh, be extended to 29th March. 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Thank you, Council. Similarly, to that effect, the Commission directs that summons number four dated 10 December 2021 issued to Ballymore number 39 LTD is further extended to 29th of March 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated is 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commissioner, uh, skipping to item number 10, is in relation to summons number 14, that was issued to the Secretary, Department of Lands and Physical Planning, Mr. Benjamin Sampson. <coughs> yes. Commissioner, you'll recall a number of folders were produced by the by the Secretary and a number of um, officers within the Department of Lands. We are finalizing a list of exhibits in relation to those documents. And we should be in a position to formally tender those documents on the 29th of March, 2022. And as such, we seek a direction that summons number 14 be extended to 29th March, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. I'm satisfied with that. In fact, to that, the, the Commission directs that summons number 14, dated 27th January 2022, issued to Secre Secretary, Department of Lands, Mr. Benjamin Sampson, is further extended to 29 March 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention, dated is 24th day of March 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you. And so, Item number 11 is summons number 15 that was issued to the Registrar of Titles, Mr. Ala Ane. Yes. Commissioner, a similar situation there. We should have a list of exhibits finalized with a view to having documents produced by the Registrar tendered on the 29th of March 2022. So we submit a direction be issued in those terms. Yes, in response to that, the Commission also now directs that summons number 15, dated 27th January 2022, issued to re Register of Titles, Mr. Ala Ane, is further extended to 29 March 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated is 24th day of March 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you. As the Commission pleases, moving on to item 12, it's return of summons number 16 issued to Honorable John Russo, MP, Minister for Lands and Physical Planning. Commissioner, also a similar situation there relating to the Department of Lands documents. And as such, in those circumstances, we submit that summons number 16 also be extended to the 29th of March, 2022 at 10 a.m. Thank you, uh, Council. Yes, I'm also satisfied with that. And therefore, the Commission directs that the summons number 16, dated 27 January 2022, issued to Minister for Lands and Physical Planning, Honorable John Rosso, is further extended to 29th of March 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention, dated is 24th day of March 2022, and I, again authorized by the Commission. Thank you. 
as the Commission pleases. Over to item number 14, Commissioner, is return of summons number 19, issued to the Valuer General, Mr. Gabriel Michael. Commissioner, I understand Mr. Michael is in or is present this morning. Um, the purpose of his attendance will essentially was essentially for uh, Mr. Michael to be cross-examined. Now, we have received correspondence from um, an interested party, namely Ashurst PNG, who acts for Curtin Brothers and Bellymore Number no. 39 Limited. They have requested uh, documents that they would require to, uh, for us to produce to them in order for them to consider with a view to cross-examining Mr. Gabriel Michael. Commissioner, in those circumstances, we submit that summons number 19 be extended for mention on the 29th of March 2022 at 10 a.m. Thank you, um, Council. I'm aware of that, and uh, given the circumstances, uh, the Commission now directs that summons number 19, dated 10 February 2022, issued to Valuer General Mr. Gabriel Michael, is further extended to 29th of March 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, dated is 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank commission. you, Council. As the Commission pleases, the last matter for this morning on the list is item number 15, Commissioner. Yes. It's a matter of leave application number one by Nenehi Lorena ILG number four. Um, my friend, I can invite my friend to enter and formally enter his appearance. I understand he'll be seeking an adjournment of the hearing of the application, Commissioner. Good morning, Mr. Commissioner. Good morning. Uh, fellow Leonard Councils. Uh, for the record, uh, Sorry, Mr. I did not get your name clearly. Uh, What's your name again? For the record, uh, Mr. Commissioner, my name is uh, Mr. Yagro. It's spelled Y-A-G-R-O. Y-A-G-R-O. That is correct. Yagro. That is correct. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Commissioner. I am from the law firm of Amawali Lawyers. Amawali. I represent uh, uh, the Nenehi Lorena, uh, more particularly the chairman of uh, No Gagoa Gaigo. Yes. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, this is an application for leave to join as an interested party to the hearing of matters pertaining to the sale and purchase of the uh, Portugal Wharf. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, I have uh, spoken with my friends. Uh, this application has been agreed to be heard together with uh, the other related application for the Araira Larabada community for purposes of consistency and uh, argumentative purposes. And in, in that respect, uh, Mr. Commissioner, I would uh, formally ask that this matter be also uh, urgent to the uh, be urgent to the 29th of March at 10 a.m. for uh, the formal application for leave to to appear as an interested party to this commission of uh, inquiry. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. I formally ask that this matter be urgent to the uh, 29th of March, 2022, at 10 a.m. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Commissioner, we, we have no objections to the to the adjournment request. Uh, but as I've indicated to my friend and to the commission earlier, um, we have uh, formed a view to, to actually object to the application. So my friend is aware of that, and as such, um, we have no objections to having the matter heard on the 29th of March, 2022, at 10 a.m. to deal with the application. Thank you, Consul. Uh, thank you, Mr. Yagro, for your representation this morning. Uh, every opportunity must be given to this inquiry to listen to issues that are addressed. Thank you. And for that reason, 
given the reasons that have been given and the circumstances in light of that, uh, the Commission now directs that uh, the leave application number one dated 7 March 2022 is now adjourned to Tuesday the 29th of March 2022 at about 10 a.m. for Thank you for the correction for the hearing. Dated this 24th day of March 2022. Thank and again, authorized by the, by the Commission. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Thank you. Commissioner, um, there's actually one final matter. Yes. Item number 17. Yes. Summons number 21, issued to the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, Honorable James Marape. Commissioner, I understand uh, a lawyer from Gemma Lawyers, namely Mr. Moses Ninkama, um, attends this morning. Perhaps we could be invited to formally enter his appearance for the Prime Minister. Thank you, Consul. Um, my name is Ninkama, spelled N-I-N-K-A-M-A, -A. Yes. initials M. Yes. I'm from the firm of German lawyers, yes. and I, I appear for the Prime Minister, Honorable James Marape. Yes. Thank you. Commissioner, I've um, spoken with my friend this morning. Perhaps he could just indicate the uh, Prime Minister uh, availability. He did indicate the Prime Minister was available to attend on the 29th of March uh, 2022. So if, if you could just confirm that and indicate the uh, Prime Minister's availability. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, Prime Minister, as I've, uh, I've indicated earlier to my uh, Leonard Council's assistant, the Commission, that uh, there is a Parliament sit, uh, sitting being held this week. And the Prime Minister is attending to that, so yes. he'll, he'll be uh, unav unavailable to, unable to attend today. So yes. we request that his summons be adjourned to the 29th of March 2022 at around 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Thank you. Thank you, Consul. Uh, in response to that, um, I'm satisfied with that, uh, given the, the other issues that the uh, uh, the Prime Minister is attending to at the moment uh, of national issues, and therefore, in, con in consideration to that, the Commission directs that summons number 21, dated 15 March 2022, issued to the Prime Minister, Honorable James Marape, is now further extended to 29th of March, which I believe it's on the Tuesday, uh, at about 10 a.m. for mention. And again, dated this 24th day of March 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Sure. May I be excused? Thank you uh, for your attendance this morning. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that you have shown up. And uh, you can now be excused from the Boston. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Council. With that, Commissioner, there's no other business uh, before the Commission this morning. So we submit that the hearings be adjourned to the 29th of March, 2022, at 10 a.m. Thank you, Council. And thank you for those who have shown your attendance this morning. We return back on Tuesday, the 29th of March, to deal with some of those the general items that we need to deal with. And until we, I see you again on the, on the date, I will now ask the associate to adjourn the matter to that date for this morning.